In this video, we will look at some of the elements that make up a basic audio system, the next step being microphones. Remember as a kid when you and a friend took a long string and attached each end to its own tin can so that the both of you could communicate with one another? Maybe not, but you may have seen it in the movies. Whether from the front of a pulpit to the back of a house of worship, or from the inside of a classroom to the boardroom across the world, microphones allow us to communicate with one another. So what is a microphone? You can think of it as a loudspeaker in reverse. Earlier we mentioned that loudspeakers perform the opposite function of microphones by converting electrical energy into sound waves. The similarities of the two can be seen when comparing the cross-section of a loudspeaker to that of a dynamic microphone. A microphone is an instrument for converting sound waves into electrical energy variations, which may then be amplified, transmitted, or recorded. There are, of course, different categories of microphones, and within each category, there are different types. The most common types of microphones you will find yourself working with in installed sound applications are dynamic and capacitor, or more commonly referred to as condenser. The names of these loosely describe how the microphone converts sound waves into electrical energy. Any one of these types of microphones can then be manufactured for a host of different applications, but we'll get more into that later. I won't bore you with a physics lesson on each type of microphone, but do keep in mind that condenser microphones require phantom power. Phantom power is a method of sending DC voltage through the mic cable to power the microphone. Most condenser microphones require 48 volts of phantom power. When using a condenser mic, make sure your mixer or DSP is capable of delivering phantom power to the mic. Now let's look at an important consideration that can influence your decisions on which microphones you will use in a design. Directional properties. Regardless of type, microphones have what are called polar patterns. You might also hear these referenced as pickup patterns. There are three major patterns, omnidirectional, unidirectional, and bidirectional. Omnidirectional polar patterns allow a microphone to pick up sound from all directions. The term unidirectional is a broad term encapsulating a few different polar patterns. Unidirectional microphones pick up sound from a single point of entry, but that single point can vary from very wide to extremely narrow. Within this family of pickup patterns, there exists the following, cardioid, subcardioid, supercardioid, and hypercardioid. Then we have bidirectional, or figure eight, which allows the microphone to pick up sound from two opposing directions. The importance of knowing what the pickup pattern of a microphone will do will be a great factor to the designer and engineer. Regarding the pickup pattern and sound reinforcement, there are three distinctions one should be concerned with. The ability to minimize feedback. In all cases, we always want to take every precaution in minimizing feedback. Depending on the application you're designing for, some pickup patterns in certain environments could make it easier to invite feedback into the system. The angle at which the person using the microphone must speak into it. We must take into account how the mic will be used. Will there be a table full of people speaking into one mic, or will there be a cast of people moving across the stage? Did you select a mic that forces someone to lean down to speak into it, or did you give them free range of motion at a podium? Lastly, the ability to reject other sound sources not intended for the microphone. Watch any presidential address and you can hear him fine while the press asking questions remains to be unheard or heard very little. This is because microphones of either the cardioid, supercardioid, or hypercardioid polar pattern are being used, thus rejecting sound from behind the microphone. It is also worth noting that directional patterns will also have an influence on the frequency response of the microphone, or how accurately the mic is reproducing the frequencies of the source.